Hello world! Today we'll be doing a tutorial for in-game camera setup for the wide-angle lens, as well as long lens and GoPro setup. I had done them before back in 2015 in my other channel, but that being my old channel and this being, well, my new channel, I figured I'd do them all for you in a heartbeat as it's a lot easier now having the ability to record in real time. Plus there'll be others coming out down the line so you want to stay tuned, as I've learned some more camera tricks since then. We'll call the series Camera Dynamics. But before we get started, I'd like to point out I'll be using the advanced free camera from the Filmer DLC pack. Most of these tips can be used with any of the other camera setups, but my personal preference is the advanced free camera as it allows for more detailed camera placement. Well, let's get started. First, we're going to want to perform the line or trick of our choice. Let's choose a nice flatland obstacle for simplicity. Next, we're going to want to pop over to the in-game camera editor, review the footy to make sure it's exactly what we want to grab. I think so. Next, we're going to want to choose the camera setting of our choice and begin. Place one marker near your desired footy. Next, play the tape slightly, place another marker, and zoom it in to about 28 to 30 millimeters. Now when you rewind, you should notice the camera zooming out. You can play it until it goes to a minimum of 10 millimeters, or find a zoom in between for those special occasions. After choosing your desired zoom level, go back and delete the rest. With one remaining, reselect and place it again. It will set the zoom and will keep it from lazily pulling in either direction. Seeing as how this is just one trick, we'll go for a stationary setup near the ledge. As your skater passes by, just place the marker along, putting him or her in frame. Everyone has their own filming styles, but this is one of the ways I like to set up the camera in-game. One last note, if you do touch the zoom at all from here, it will automatically jump it back to 24mm and you'll end up with that lazy pull. Butter. And that's how I use the wide-angle lens in Skate 3. As I mentioned, you can apply this trick to any of the other camera styles. Well, on to the next vid, the long lens tutorial, where I show you how to get up to 500mm zoom. Stay tuned!